Hello Explorers, welcome back. So we are gonna do the second half of my Etsy pay, which is gonna go into the Japan binder. I apologize for all of the glares and whatnot. Um, I'm filming at night. You guys know I hate filming at night, but so I have to have the lights on. So let's do the second half of this. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 289 dollars is what we have left um, from my Etsy pay. And I am leaving the ones out because we have J-Bucks. Uh, we didn't originally, but... When I pulled cash or um, paycheck this week, there were a lot of J bucks in there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars in J bucks. So we're gonna do that first. That is gonna go into the J is for Japan. So we're gonna mark off fourteen of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, I will speed you up and I will be back when I'm done. Okay, now that my hand is sore, but I love that we are making great progress this time on that one. So let's put this in there and we'll see how many we, how much we have in J's for Japan. So this was 14, we're not going to recount that. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, and 3. So $63. That's awesome. So there's what, 37 to go? And then this one will be complete. Huge. Huge. Okay. Next we have Road Trip. So I'm going to use these again because it really worked out last time. Um, we will do the 20 plus 12 is 32 plus 8 is 40. Um, 46. There we go. And there's 47 of these. So Let's see what we have. Um, that one's still rolling. Okay, so we have 20, 31, 34, 35. Let's see if 35 is available. Uh, 35 is Shimein, and I think we already did that one. We did. So we have 13, 17, 22. 22 is available. So 22 is, let's see what 22 is. 22 is Aichi, and that is $4.10. So we're putting in $41. Love this. Okay. So in road trip, we have five 900 in a high yield. This is crossed off and it's a four. So we have 920, 45, 46. 946 dollars in a high yield savings. Oh, well, 900 in a high yield and then 46 here. And we're probably going to come back to this, but I want to get through all of these first just in case because we don't have as much money as usual. So. Let's find 
This is the Tokyo Challenge. This book is from Etsy. And we're going to roll this dice to determine which one we're going to do. Five. So one, two, three, four, five. And what are we going to multiply it by? We're going to multiply it by two. And it's 10. So we're putting $20 into this one. Not terrible. I can't wait for this book to be done because I want to start saving for, well, not saving for something else. I'm actually not. Um, but I want to change out the book. So 20 is going into the Tokyo challenge. So now there's one, two, three, four, four, 20, four, 30, 433 in Tokyo. Okay. That's all we're going to do in that one. Next is Adventure is Calling, which is the destination cards from Ren. At Mischief Manage Budgets, in case you're wondering. These ones are all complete. These are the ones we are working on. This one was hiding. Let's do this one. Hong Kong. Okay. $10. Lots of nice even numbers today. I love the way Ren's stuff scratches. Like nothing. I don't care who you are. Nobody's stuff compares to Ren's when it comes to like how nicely her stuff scratches. So we're going to put $10 into the destination cards. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 105. Okay, so that's those. Next is, this is also from Ren. This is Kyoto. Let's do this one. 29. And the way she has hers laminated, it's so easy to pull these stickers off and do these challenges again, which I will definitely do. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So in runs, uh, in Kyoto, we have 150, 175, 76, 77, 78, 79, 180. And this one brings in 250. She doesn't normally offer $250 ones, but I did reach out to her and ask her if she could make it higher for me, and she had no problem doing that. She is awesome. This one is from Liz at Liz and Less. Please go support her if you need challenges. She does custom, not custom. I mean, they are custom. She's, she makes them herself. She creates all of the graphics, everything herself. Um, but she does sticker challenges, which are really cool. Let's do this black cat for $6. Maybe. Does it not want to come off? It did not want me to save it. Okay. So we are going to run out of space on here. So six dollars, five and six. So now in this one, my 50, 75, 80, one and 82. And this one brings in a hundred dollars when it's complete. So we've got 82 in there. Next we have Sudoku. This was just a book I got from Bullseye's Playground at Target. Most of you guys, most people refer to it as Dollar Spot, but it actually is not called that anymore and hasn't been for many years. Fun little fact there. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three, four, five. We need six and eight. Six can go there. Eight can go there. Because there's already an eight here, so we couldn't put an eight here. So I made that really easy. So what is that? 14. We'll put 14 in there. 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, so we have 1, 10, 20, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So 130 in Sudoku. Let's move that book. 
Next is, this is mine from the Japan Pavilion at Epcot. And we'll just go ahead and do this one. We got a seven. Okay. Outside. So we got seven. So five, six, and seven. So now in here we have 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 out of 75. Okay. And I'm not going to forget this time, you guys. We are going to do the Japan cards. Let's pull a couple of them. So there's the money. Let's just split them. We have 10. Yuki, which is snow. We have three. Ogenki desu ka? And that is, how are you? So we'll do 13. Um, let's do one more. Uh, no, let's not. Let's just do that for right now because I want to see if I can finish some stuff up. So let's put 13 in here. I'm going to put back two ones and take 15. So you have 50, 60, 75. 75 in this one. These are done, so they're going to go in here. Okay. And now we're starting over. So let's go to Japan Road Trip. So that's 17 plus 11. We have 28 plus 6. What is that? 34 plus 5 is 39, which is Yamaguchi. And 39 is not done. So we can do 39. So 39 Yamaguchi is $4.10, 10, 20, 30, 41, 41. Uh, we have enough to do another one, so let's do another one because I want to make it through these. We don't have a ton to go. I didn't really let those roll, but oh well. That is 8 plus 7 is 15, plus, four, uh, plus 5 is 20, plus 4 is 24. 24 is Shiga, and it's available. I love when they're actually available. So 24. Shiga is $4.07. So 10, 20, 30, $40. Okay. So let's add this. So we now have 500, 900, and 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,000, and 10, 20, 5, 26, 27. 1,027 dollars in Japan road trip. And we have 10, 20, 30, 45. We've got a little over 50 dollars left, so I'm not going to do another one on road trip. These are done for right now, but let's see what we can do. Let's finish up cat sushi. Yeah, let's finish up cat sushi. Six, 12, we have $18 left on this one. Six, 
12, 18. So cat sushi is done. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we should have a hundred dollars here. Let's just double check. We have 50, 70, 80, 5, 90, 5, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So this is going to go in here with the challenge so that I know where this money came from and where it belongs. And it's going to come back here to the high yield savings account. I do have the hundred or the, yeah, the hundred dollars in here for the kids. Um, that needs to go in the kids high yield savings account. Once I go to the bank, I'll take all of this, but that way I know where that money is going. So that one is complete. That's exciting. Let's go ahead and move this out of here and up into here. So now we have, do, 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 do. there's only three left on rents, but that makes me nervous. 20, 30, I could do another one on this one. Let's do that. Let's do another one on here. We'll do this one that's up here by itself. 23. Because maybe we'll be able to finish this one in the next one. So 10, 20, 1, 2, and 3. So now in here we have 150, 170, 180, 195, 96, 97, 98, 99, 203 dollars. 203 out of 250. So that's that one. We've got 10. We have 13 dollars left. Let's see what we can get done in Sudoku. move this stuff out of the way. Okay. We have $13 to work with. So this one needs a one and a two. One, one. That's not going to work. Three and nine. Six and eight. Let's see. Six, six. One, two, three, four, and six. That doesn't help me. Oh, wait, no. Four and nine. Doesn't help me. One, two, and eight. Does not help me. One and seven. So this is a one. This is a seven. So we owe this eight dollars. Five, six, seven, eight. So we have five dollars left. This is a one. Doesn't help. Let me see. We have. Okay, so there's a five in this row, there's a five in this row, but there isn't one in here. So we know that one of these has to be a five. There's already a five here, so it can't be this one. There's already a five here, so it can't be this one, which means this one is the five. That worked out perfectly. So we are adding an additional $13 into Sudoku. So now in here, we're ending with 1, 10, 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. So $143. We completed a challenge. We will be able to complete um, Ren's Kyoto challenge next time because there's only two left on there. So we are making great progress in this book finally. It seems like it took forever, but that's because I made everything super high like amounts but that's okay 
Um, I know I was asked if I'm going to do a spending recap on Legoland, and I definitely will. Um, I'm going to, I needed to film paycheck, but I've not filmed paycheck because I wanted to do paycheck budget and, uh, spending recap in one video because none of those are very long. And what happened is I just haven't gotten around to like pulling my spending recap yet. So that's kind of what's holding it up. I haven't even cashed up my paycheck yet, which is fine because I, um, um, what do you call it? I put everything on a credit card and then I pay it off. So having it cashed up for doesn't really matter until it's time to pay it off. Although my bills do need to be cashed up for. So there's that. But, um, yeah, hopefully I'll get that done in tomorrow's video. So we'll see. But that is all that I have for this Japan cash stuffing. Well, it's not even a Japan cash stuffing. It is an Etsy cash stuffing. This is, that is all that I have for this. So until next time, bye.